Research has suggested that testosterone has declined about 50% in the last 50 years. Uh, sperm count also has declined about 50% in the last 50 years. What do you think is responsible for, for the decline in testosterone and fertility? In what I've seen yeah. in my generation is stress. Yeah. Stress kills. 300 years ago, our ancestors were herding sheep. Mm. And you would have a brief run of adrenaline if a wolf came by or an opposing tribe, but it wasn't everyday constant. And we've not, without going too far afield, this is more your area sure. of expertise, obviously, but chronic stress is yeah. just, it's a hammer to the body. Yeah. And, you know, the simple version is the fight or flight mode is very different than the, the parasympathetic mode that, that where we're going to be thinking about reproducing and, um, you know, repairing the digestive tract. And, and, and the theory goes that if you're constantly in that mode, mm -hmm. well, then you're not gonna be producing much testosterone. Right. And contrary to popular belief, testosterone is not, your, not what you produce when you're threatened. Yeah, It's the preparation for, mm -hmm. so you grow that muscle so you're ready when you're threatened, but cortisol and adrenaline and noradrenaline are what's produced when you're threatened. And when those are, are prevalent 24 seven, you know, again, this is my experience yeah. with, with, with clinical visits of patients for however many years now, it, it buries your testosterone. Uh, but there are oftentimes ways that we can reduce stress. Something simple like, and, and we're probably gonna segue into this anyway, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump ahead, getting better sleep. Mm -hmm. And not just quantity, but quality. A lot of people, especially people that are overweight, suffer from sleep apnea. Right. Um, so little things like that, it's not a little thing, but things that we tend to take for granted. If we adjust those, we can reduce the stress enough to bring testosterone levels back up. And one of the things that people often mistake too is, well, shouldn't I be working out? Because that's gonna be the answer. That, that's gonna create more testosterone. Generally speaking, exercise is considered beneficial stress, U stress, we call right. it, right? But when you're working for UPS mm -hmm. in the, the, the high season and you're pulling 16, 18 hour days, mm -hmm and you're physically, right? When I say working for UPS, yeah. I mean running a truck. Right. And then you decide to go to the gym, yeah. you've just piled on to that bad stress at that point with something that would normally be considered good stress. So uh, I'm just trying to help smooth yeah. this out for people that are thinking this through, uh, but bottom line is stress can really affect mm -hmm. the, the body's production of just about anything it's supposed to do properly. Yeah, absolutely. And we talk about this in psychology all the time. Acute stress is not necessarily harmful, but chronic stress, can be catabolic, right? And it antagonizes sort of the, uh, the benefits of testosterone. So this is a huge point in terms of like, you know, stress reduction is obviously beneficial for not only holistic health, but hormonal health as well.